It's true. It's better to give than to receive. You're listening to the Master Your Lens Podcast, episode 140. Hey, John Lee Dumas here, the founder and host of EO Fire, and welcome to the Master Your Lens Podcast, the photography podcast dedicated to sharing inspiring stories, technical tips, and powerful secrets to help you become a better photographer. And now, your host, Matthew Jordan Smith. Hello, Photography Nation. Welcome to today's podcast and happy holidays. It's the season of giving. Today is Wednesday, December 11th, 2019. And we are now officially two weeks away from Christmas. If that caused you a bit of stress, don't worry, I've got you covered. This is the season for giving, but I know a lot of people are stressed about gifts, what to give to those who they are close to. Gifts for friends, family, maybe even for yourself. It's the gift giving season. So today's entire show is just about great gifts for photographers. I think all photographers are gear people. Well, maybe not all, but a lot of photographers are into gear. And I get it because things are changing. There's always something new coming out to make our life easier or to make us better photographers. The entire photo industry has changed quite a bit recently. Not too long ago, all of our gear was heavy and we were used to it because there was no other alternative. That has changed. Recently, I went to photograph an event and I decided to take my Nikon D5 camera. Now, this is the first time I've used this camera this year. I've been using my Nikon Z7. It's a great camera. It's smaller, it's lighter. But for this event, I needed to shoot at a faster frame rate, so I chose to use my Nikon D5. I was shooting horses. Actually, I was shooting archers on horses galloping at full speed. It was a horseback archery event. So imagine this, a person's riding on a horse at full speed, full gallop, and they have a bow and arrow. And while that horse is at full gallop, they've got to hit a very small target. On top of that, they're dressed in Edo period armory. This event, called Yabusame, takes place in Japan. It happens twice a year here in Tokyo, and I wanted to shoot it. So the right tool, the right camera for this type of event was the Nikon D5. Super fast, super reliable, super rugged. I really love this event. Again, the dress in ancient Japanese armory from the Edo period. And so are the horses. It's beautiful to see, but the action takes place fast, so you need a camera that can shoot at a fast frame rate. Well, the D5 performed magically, but at the end of the day, I could feel the weight of the camera, and I was missing having my Z7 or my Z6. Those two mirrorless cameras have spoiled me. You see, a lot of us are now using smaller, lighter gear, and not just our cameras. So today, we're talking about that. Great gifts for photographers. Great gear that's making our lives better. But before we jump into the gear today, I want to invite you next week, next Tuesday, to a live webinar where I will be giving away three pieces of brand new gear. 
That's right. Next Tuesday, December 17th, 2019, I will be giving away three amazing items for photographers. But you've got to register by going to the webinar page. Go to photographylightingwebinars.com. That's photographylightingwebinars.com. Join me on Tuesday, December 17th at 3 p.m. Eastern Time as we go into talking about how to build more confidence in your photography. At the end of the webinar, I'll be giving away three amazing items, things that every photographer could use. Make sure you register today. Go to photographylightingwebinars.com. Now, let's jump into great gifts for photographers. Well, much of the camera world has gone mirrorless, including me. And my camera of choice is my Nikon Z7 and my Nikon Z6. I love those cameras. They're so small, but the quality is absolutely amazing. Now, after I finish taking my images, how am I viewing and editing those images? My program of choice is On One Photo Raw 2020. This is the program I use to import, edit, and by edit, I mean make adjustments to the images and then export. On One Photo Raw 2020 is my program of choice. Now, I've been traveling around a lot this year. As a matter of fact, this year, I've flown more than I've ever flown in my life. 155,000 air miles. That's a lot of time on the plane and a lot of time going back and forth to the airports. With that kind of travel, I need a sturdy travel case. What kind of case do I carry all that gear around with? Well, with big gear, I'm going to check that. But what do I take on the plane? My cameras, and today, even some of my lights. Think Tank has solved that problem. With an airport roller, the Think Tank Airport Photo Roller Case. It's also known as the Airport Roller Derby Rolling Carry-On Camera Case. <laughs> I know that's a long name, but that's the official name. Now, obviously, going from Tokyo to the States or anywhere actually in the world, I'm on a big plane. But there are times when I'm on the smaller commuter planes, and that's when this case really helps a lot because this small case can go into the overhead on small planes, and I love it. As a photographer, I never want to check my cameras. Those always go on the plane with me. All this year, I used this airport roller 155,000 miles in the air, not to mention all the other times I'm going around just in Tokyo or New York or LA. I have that case with me all the time. It's called the Think Tank Photo Airport Roller. This is my favorite way to carry around my gear. And for those of you who travel a lot, this is the perfect rolling case. Even on those small airplanes, you know the ones, your standard roller is taken away from you at the gate and told you have to check it underneath the plane. Not with this roller. It fits in the overhead. Even on those very small, tight commuter airplanes. I love this roller case. Now, maybe you're wondering, okay, Matthew, it's a small roller case, but what do you have in your roller case? Well, camera-wise, I have a Nikon Z7 and a Nikon Z6. Now, what else is in my carry-on bag? 
I'm a lighting person. And this year, in my roller case, along with my two camera bodies, I have a Profoto B10 strobe light with me. Now, this is something I never could have done in the old days. And by old days, I mean 10 years ago. I could never have carried two bodies and a strobe in my carry-on. Today, I can have two mirrorless bodies and a Profoto B10, which is a small strobe light, but a very powerful strobe light. Being able to carry all this gear with me everywhere I go has made life a lot easier. I love my Pro Photo B10 and I use it quite a bit. It is my strobe light of choice. If you've never seen a Pro Photo B10 in action, I want to invite you to join me next week on Tuesday, December 17th, 2019. Register right now. Photography Lighting Webinars.com. During the webinar, I'm going to show you how I use my different tools and how you can get more success and have more confidence as a photographer. I'm giving away not one, not two, but three amazing gifts for photographers. Next Tuesday, December 17th, at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm giving away three incredible gifts. Now, I've never done this before. This is the first time where I'm giving away three incredible items. To have a chance to win, you must be there in person. We will be using a random number generator to pick out the winners. And this time, you have not one, but three chances to win. Now, what am I giving away? Well, stick with me, and I'll tell you at the end of today's show. But right now, let's get back to more great tools for photographers. Another tool that I use all the time is a wireless remote. Now, you know, I'm shooting for Nikon Z7 and Z6. And this little tool, the WRR10 and the WRT10, this wireless remote set is essential for you if you are on the go. Now, people are often very shocked when I say I use this one all the time, but this is a small tool that I have in my camera bag and I use it all the time. This wireless remote system is really, really cool. As a matter of fact, I have two. And this is the cool thing about having two of the remote sets. Let's say I'm shooting in studio. And today with social media, we need a lot of stuff that's gonna capture the moment in different ways of us working. People love behind the scenes. If I have my wireless remote system on both cameras, my Z7 and my Z6, every time one camera fires, the other camera fires. So let's say you're shooting a portrait but, and you're by yourself, but you want to get pictures behind the scenes of you working. On my main camera, my Nikon Z7, I can photograph my subject. On the side, I can have my second body, my Z6, with a wide lens on a tripod or a platypod to capture everything I'm shooting the instant I shoot each and every image. Kind of cool to see this. I'm getting two different images at the same time, behind the scenes and the actual shot. Now, in last week's episode, I talked about the platypod, the small tripod base, another great tool. And as we go into 2020, I'll be using that platypod quite a bit. And every time I use that platypod tripod base, I'll be using my Nikon wireless remote system as well. Sometimes great things come in small packages. And the WRR10 and the WRT10, you need both, are essential. If you get the entire set, it also comes with the WRA10. You'll need all three if you want to use it the way I described earlier. So the wireless remote system, that set, 
is essential for you. Now, another great tool that I found toward the end of this year, for those of us who are shooting video, and I know a lot of photographers now are, a wireless mic system. We've needed this for a long time, and this year, I found out about a great new system by Rode. Rode makes some of the best mics in the industry. And now, they have a wireless system called the Wireless Go. It's compact, it's wireless, it's a microphone system that works with your camera. You have a small, square receiver and transmitter. This is great for those of us who are shooting video, which is mainly how I use my Z6. It's a great video camera. The Wireless Go system comes with two fur windshields, which you need if you're on the road out in the field. You get a USB cable. You get two USB-C cables with it. You get a small pouch. It's a great little system. And yes, it works with your mirrorless camera system. Well, actually any camera system, but I'm using it with my Z6 and my Z7. So for those of you who are shooting video, the Rode microphone system, the Rode wireless system called Wireless Go is a great choice. More and more photographers are shooting a lot of video these days and shooting video on location. So you need great sound and you need great lights. This year also, I started using another new light source. For strobes, you know I love my pro photo strobes. But sometimes you need a different type of light, like a constant light. Now the B10 does have a great constant light source that's part of that B10 system. But sometimes you need more power. And that's when light and motion comes into play for me. This year, I've been using the Light and Motion CLX8. This is an LED light, but it is built like a tank. You can drop this light from one meter onto a concrete surface and it will survive and thrive. This is the light you want to take on location. There aren't any other lights out there that I would say that about that you can drop on a concrete surface and it's going to work just fine. But these lights are made to take on location and they'll take a beating. This year, I've been doing a lot of location work where I'm shooting at night and these are the lights I take. In terms of power, it puts out 8,000 looms. That's a lot of power coming out of a small light. If my subject is, let's say, six feet away, I can shoot at F8 at a 60th if I want to at ISO 400. That's a lot of power for a small light. Now, if you're doing video, you may not need all that depth of field, but to have the option is really cool. And what's very impressive is the color. In terms of color balance, the light is set at 5600K, daylight balanced. Now, how do I know that this is correct? That the color is exactly what I want from this light? Well, this year also, I started using a color meter. For those of you who are doing video or more high in video, the Sekonic C800 Spectral Master Color Meter is the meter for you. If you want to know exactly what color you're getting or how to adjust your color, this meter does it all. Whether you're using strobe or using any type of constant light, this is the color meter of choice. Now, this is the big boy. Every movie grip has this. And I will admit, this color meter is made more for the cinema industry, for the movie industry. Every grip has a color meter. And this is the one that everyone is using. The Sekonic C800 Spectral Master. This is the color meter you want to use. Also this year, I've been using a lot of the Ari sky panels, which can give you any color and tons of amazing effects. But I need to use a meter like the C800 
to make sure everything is exactly what I want. The Ari Sky Panel is another great tool for photographers to do different types of images. These are high in LED lights and they are incredible. The S30, the S60, the S120, these are all incredible LED lights, but these are the top of the line LED lights. I've been using the RE Sky Panel S30 quite a bit. And when I use it, I'm using that Spectromaster, the Sekonic C800 Spectromaster, the color meter. Now, we've gone through a lot of gear, but there's one piece of gear that I use all the time. This one is not new to me. I've used it most of my career, but it is one thing that I believe is essential, a light meter. The top of the line light meter is the L858D made by Sekonic. This is the light meter of choice. You name it, this light meter can do it. Whether you're shooting video, stills, landscape, you name it, this meter, it does it all. The Sekonic Speedmaster L858D. I love this meter and it's in my tool bag all the time. Now, when I'm traveling around besides my camera gear, I always have my computer, my laptop, my MacBook Pro, and many photographers are doing the same thing. We're traveling with our gear, our computers, our smartphone. As I'm going through airports, very often, I'll see people trying to find power for all our devices, your smartphone, your laptop. And sometimes that can be a challenge. Well, actually, not sometimes. Most of the time, that is a challenge. Finding power. As I travel through airports, it's now common to see people sitting on the floor in some corner just trying to get power for their devices. This next item is one that I believe every photographer, actually every person, needs a small, lightweight battery. And I just found the perfect one. The Nano One by Flexon. No matter who's on your Christmas list or your holiday list, this is the perfect gift. The perfect item for every photographer. This is an ultra compact V-mount battery. It can charge your smartphone. It can charge your MacBook Pro. And it can also charge an LED light like the Light in Motion CL8X all at the same time. Yes, you got it right. You can charge your light, your LED light. You can charge your laptop and you can charge your smartphone all at the same time if you want to. This is one powerful battery. And I believe every photographer needs a battery like this. And it fits in the palm of your hand. Even if you're not a photographer, this is a great gift for anyone. So now that your laptop is fully charged and your smartphone, where do you put all those great pictures? SanDisk now has a 500 gigabyte extreme SSD drive, solid state, perfect for the times when you are on the go and want to back up all your pictures right away. The SanDisk solid state drive is my choice for storing my files when I'm on the road. Now, no matter what gear you use, we all need to make sure we have confidence to use it in the right way. On next Tuesday, December 17th, 2019, I'm giving a webinar to help you have more confidence in your photography. To do that, I'm gonna show you how I use many of my tools, including my number one confidence builder, 
I want you to make sure you are there live because I'm giving away three amazing new items so you can end your year and start your new year off on the right foot. I'm going to give away two SanDisk 500 gigabyte extreme SSD drives. Not one, but two. But that's not it. I'm also going to give away one Sekonic 858D light meter. Three amazing items to three lucky people. I'll use a random number generator to find out who those people are, and it could be you. But you've got to register and be there live. To register, just go to photographylightingwebinars.com. That's photographylightingwebinars.com. Register there for this webinar. It's going to take place on Tuesday, December 17th at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. You don't want to miss this. This has never happened before. It will probably never happen like this ever again. Learn how to have more confidence as you end your year and start your year. Again, to register, all you've got to do is go to photographylightingwebinars.com. Once you register, put the date and time in your calendar. Set an alarm on your phone. Make sure you are there because this one is going to make sure you start your year off on the right foot. All right, Photography Nation, that's going to do it for our show today. Make sure you register for this webinar. You do not want to miss this one. Three lucky people are going to end their year with something special. And it could be you, but you've got to register and you've got to show up. All right, Photography Nation, happy holidays wherever you are in the world. Have a great day. Always dream big. Bye for now.